this is interior detail so you can let's do it as you see it's a little chilly well it's 61 out now but it was in the 30s this morning 39 or whatever so it's getting chilly season that means one thing for me less exterior work more interior details so i'm going to be doing an interior detail on this car here and i'll show you that process so first i'll get a detailed look of the interior so you can see the before of course and then i'll show you the after and some of the work in between and anything else that may be a little bit interesting. at least for step one for step one I'm going to be cleaning all the plastic and vinyl so door panel dashboards kick panels the side of the seat bolsters there the bottom the whole dashboard underneath the center console the pillars you know the hole where the seat belts and all that are um the side walls to the um uh, back cargo area the tailgate door anything vinyl or plastic so first and most important are my gloves and i use these heavy duty textured gloves i think these are six seven or eight mil otherwise they rip all the time second headlamp gotta have it although it seems bright but as soon as you get in that car and especially start working under the dashboard and under the seats and whatever forget it i mean you can see but you can't see good to detail very well third is interior cleaner I used PNS Remy Doyle interior express cleaner smells good it's effective and it works good and if I come across a little heavier stain I'll use some all-purpose cleaner right now I have Meguiar's it comes in a concentrated bottle, so I put, I don't know, a couple ounces in the bottle and fill the rest with distilled water. Or I can make it stronger or weaker. Next is all my different brushes, different size, shapes. This is a stiff. This is just a, it's not very strong but it works good for uh, vents and different stuff 
next is the little bit smaller diameter one for for getting into door pockets the door handle area the bottom of the uh, slot there and then this is the main one which will do most of the work um, and then also I got many many other different size shapes and uh, strengths and all that so all right um, I'm gonna start right here on this door panel and I'm gonna spray the door down I'm gonna, oh I didn't show you you also need a lot of these these are very important microfiber towels from the rag company don't even waste your time looking anywhere else um the ragcompany.com but yeah i'm gonna start here uh cleaning this door and then i'm gonna use the same exact process all the way around for all the parts i mentioned so i'll put you on a time lapse and we'll go from there i gotta deal with her what did you make for me? Uh, a marshmallow drink. A marshmallow drink? Yeah, it's for you. What's in it? Marshmallows. Marshmallows? What else? Just water. Water and marshmallows? Yes. Oh boy. I stirred, I stirred it around in the in the oven. Thank you so much. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, you have to taste it for real life. I did taste it for real life. See? Mmm. It's very sweet. I know. You're going to eat some of the marshmallows. Okay, I will. I got a tummy ache right now, so. But I will eat them in a second, okay? Okay. All right, thank you, you baby. You can have a drink. Okay, I will. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Marshmallow drink. Do you like honey? So, I forgot to mentioned a couple of the tools I'll use a lot are this longer screwdriver. I use these to push the rag into areas that I can't reach with my fingers. And this is a tiny little screwdriver that I ground up a little bit under the grinder. Let me see, hard to... Anyway, it's very, very thin, and but I've tried it not to get it too sharp so it doesn't scratch. But I use this to clean debris like out, out of cracks. This would be a good scenario, but I use it more in the center console. So you see this crack here? You can kind of shove that in there and pull out if there's like some kind of debris or something stuck in there and pull it out and uh the last thing i forgot to show you that i use a lot is a it's called a blowout tool so see that little thing in there it spins when you blow it compressed air obviously and uh you use it for a ton of different things which, by the way, it's starting to get wore out, so I need to clean it and replace this. But, uh, yeah, this is very, very useful for me. When I get, say, in the, in the vents here, in the heater vents and all that, I'll blow, I'll spray the cleaner, like, deep inside there and wiggle the brush wait sometimes i use one of these really tiny brushes if i need to and i'll just kind of wiggle it back there as far as i can but i can never get a rag in there to wipe that out so i'll
Here we go. Driver's cockpit area, steering wheel, 
underneath, kick panels, the center console, dash, then this side of the dash, that side of the console, all this, kick panels and all that. So now I'm on this door panel. I'll do this, I'll do this uh, right inside here, the pillar where the seat belt goes. Um, I'll do the back doors, and then I'll do inside the back cargo area, the hatch or whatever. Um, but I don't need to record all that. You've seen, so by what I've done so far, you have an idea of what I'm doing here. So, um, I'll just, you know, pick it up from the next step. Hold on, baby. So I'll pick it up from the next step and uh, we'll go from... Hey, turn around. I'm talking to my camera for my video. Don't move it. So anyway, um, I'll finish this up and uh, move on when I get to the next step. I'll fire the camera back up and show you guys what we're doing from there. And if anything else interesting pops up, I'll show you that. Also, if you have any ideas for future videos, like anything you want me to go really in depth on, I'm just kind of grazing over everything right now. But if any part of this process you want me to go really in depth on for a video, let me know. Or any other video ideas, please let me know. Um, I want to make the videos that you guys want to see so you keep watching. So, uh, yeah, let me know. Comment, you know, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm really, really struggling to try to grow my YouTube channel. Like, I don't want to say I'm ready to give up on it, but it's like, you know, I went from 100 to 146 subscribers in the last couple months, and it's like, I don't know, it, it, it just doesn't seem like the interest is there. But uh, I'll keep grinding on it. I'm, really, I'm not gonna quit, I'll keep trying, so. Anyway. Look at that cutie. This is why I like to work at home. She'll get in here and help me too. Her sister is like, I don't even have to tell her what to do. She knows. I know. That's why I'm here, baby. I'm cleaning it. So, I'll see you in the next clip. Or no. How about this? So, we're vacuuming now. And, in all honesty, I've already done the passenger floorboard. And, I started here. Um, behind the passenger floorboard. Now I'm on the back of these seats, but.
That's a little bit of a difference, huh? Okay, I'm gonna show you all a short trick on how to clean seats. If you don't have one of those fancy uh, extractors. If you have one of these, or if you have one of these, some type of brush. You're gonna need. You're gonna need a good absorbent microfiber, and you're gonna need fabric cleaner of some sort. You can use degreaser, but that's not the best. Um, carpet cleaner. Uh, I usually just use all-purpose cleaner. It smells good. So, first thing I'm going to do is give it a good spray. Most of the dirt is on the surface in this thing. Yeah, <coughs> that all purpose cleaner sometimes makes me cough. So anyway, the dirt is mostly just right here on the outside. So you don't necessarily need to extract. I guess sometimes, but not always. So, rub it a little bit. Take your absorbent towel, clean it up, just like you're cleaning any other surface. And if you think I'm full of it, watch and see. I'm gonna do this whole car like this. This seat is really bad right here.
Next up, windows. Windows are a pain in the butt, no matter what. Windows are a pain in the butt, no matter what. So here we go, two rack method. Cleaning towel, drying towel. Spray the cleaning towel. Give it a bit of wipe. Take your dry towel. finish up the plastic and then we'll dump the, jump the door jams real quick I'm also gonna text the customer and tell her that it'll be done soon all right last step before putting the mats back in and you know picking up whatever's loose or the door jam what I have here is a quick detailer which cleaned and shined all in one so it makes them cleans a man looks pretty it's mostly just kind of dust and you know like dirt anyway so you can do it with water and you know anything really so I'm just gonna take my towel and wipe them down this is a huge difference you know, you can do all this work on a detail and um, when you stand back, you know, a little ways and look into the car, the first thing your eyes are seeing are the door jams. So you're seeing dirt 
you know, even though it's clean in here, around the, the picture frame, let's say, it's all dirt. You don't want to see that. And it doesn't take that much work. Look at this. It's almost effortless. You clean your own car at home, take the extra five minutes, and clean the door door. Not only will it look better, but I feel like, you know, you're wiping the salt and, you know, water spray, water brine with salt in it and all that from the winter. You're wiping all that off. Otherwise, all that stuff would be sitting right here. So, um, you're protecting your car from rusting. And you always see rust on the doors right in these areas. It doesn't have to be perfect. Wipe your seals. And move on. can focus on what you want them to see when this frame is all dirty and nasty your eyes are going to go to that rather than a beautiful picture inside Got the mats back in. She's all ready to go. So let's take a look at the final product here. Again, thanks for watching. Please uh, like, subscribe, and comment. Like, I'm really trying, really trying to grow my YouTube page. So anything you can do, like, it's really, really helpful. I'm not just saying that, you know, I know everybody says this stuff, but seriously when you're trying to when you're at my level and you're trying to grow a page comments shares subscribes all that stuff is huge especially when you're at 142 subscribers every single one means a lot to me so and my channel so anything you can do i appreciate it have a great day we'll see you next time if you have any questions let me know